Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. I'm really excited to bring to you guys this recipe today. It is an amazing high growth oil recipe. It will certainly help your hair get thicker, adding volume to it, and also help with the appearance of greys. Now you guys know that I have quite a lot of greys on my hair, like it's crazy. Um, and I've been using this recently, and I've sort of noticed a slight difference. I mean, I still have greys, um, but it's looking slightly fainter than perhaps you know used to look before so I'm thinking I'm probably doing something right with this oil and I just thought I would share it with you guys so I'll definitely suggest that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any useful information now before we dive into it I know I've had quite a lot of recent subscribers thank you so much if you recently subscribed to my channel you're very welcome i really appreciate your love and support now if it's your first time here i'm vanessa i make natural hair videos including lots of diys to help us grow you know long healthy natural hair so consider subscribing to join the family so let's hop into the video guys so the two first ingredients we will need for this recipe will be some fenugreek and black seeds now the ones that i'm using are whole so i'm going to go ahead and blend this now i'll suggest that perhaps you use a powder so if you've got the powder this will be even better so i mean powdered fenugreek seeds and powdered black seed so basically just mix all of that in together if you've got the powder if you're done then it's fine just go ahead and blend this just like i did and then we're going to go in to add some olive oil now we all know uh, fenugreek and black seeds are two amazing powerful seeds for hair growth now fenugreek seeds are a rich source of iron and protein and these are two essential nutrients for hair growth now you know guys that our hair are made of a protein called keratin and essentially having enough of that protein just means that we can produce more hair and also have stronger hair pretty much now I also went ahead and I added some hibiscus leaves um, so the one I'm using here is dry hibiscus I got it from Whole Foods but you can also find this on Amazon I will link everything in my description box guys in case perhaps you want to purchase um, some now hibiscus is also good for hair growth guys because it's got some amazing um, properties hibiscus stops hair fall uh, it makes your hair look healthy and shiny prevents premature graying it thickens hair and add volume it treats down dwarf conditions against freeze dryness and breakage and it also prevents split ends now i also added a tablespoon of coconut oil but to be honest you don't really need the coconut oil if you don't have it you can pretty much just stop at the olive oil um, but I decided to just use it because it's also good for hair. It penetrates the hair shaft and it nourishes the follicles. And I also added a tablespoon of Jamaican castor oil. Now castor oil is really good because it helps thicken the hair as well. So I added all that in together, mixed it well until it was well combined. And then I'm now going to place this on, um, on, on the stove in a little... Um, pan with some water in it and allow it to just boil all the time so I think I boiled this for about 30 minutes but you need to still keep an eye on it guys and just keep stirring in between um, until it's completely done now fenugreek um, I already talked about fenugreek seeds so black seeds are actually one of those seeds that are also really good for hair guys it's got antibacterial antifungal anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties so really really good all round now we all know that inflammation is definitely one to avoid because you know inflammation is what causes lots of problems when it comes to health in general inflammation causes disease you know and when it comes to our hair if you have an inflamed scalp that's definitely not a good thing uh, or a good environment for your hair to grow so you're absolutely going to lose hair um, or probably not grow as much hair as perhaps you should so we should always tr try to reduce inflammation in our body in every way possible really because that's the only way that things can just function at their maximum 
um anyways that's me talking too much about you know um inflammation so yeah i just allowed this to boil guys like i said for 30 minutes took it off the fire allowed it to rest and then i'm just going to just sieve it using a normal sieve but again you can use anything you've got really it could be a cheesecloth anything really so sieve that and then i'm just placing it in a putting it in the mason jar just so i can uh, store it and also use it when i need it after i'm done transferring it to my mason jar guys i'm now going to go ahead and add some essential oils now again this is optional so you don't necessarily have to if you don't have these but it's often good to add essential oils to your hair growth oils because they are just really good for our hair in general because it helps improve blood circulation around the scalp area and that means more nutrients for our follicles and more opportunities for our hair to grow um, so I usually use the same essential oils you probably have seen this quite a lot in my videos and they are tea tree essential oil peppermint and rosemary those are the ones that I usually stick to because I, I just like them you know I also added some mango fragrance oil now the reason why i did this guys was just to give this a slightly better smell because the fenugreek and the black seed combined together do have a very kind of you know funny smell not really funny like it's just really strong the smell um so i just thought i would add some uh, fruity smell to it just to change it up a little bit and make it a bit more bearable for me because you know sometimes i just don't like when my hair smells really strong and you're passing a place and then everyone's like you know hmm, who's smelling curry <laughs> do you know what i mean um but hey yeah so basically that's the one that i use i will also link it in my description box if you want to try it it's quite strong in smell but it does it's really good if you're trying to mask the smell of, of something um so stay with me guys I'm going to show you basically how I'm applying this to my hair and we're going to talk a little bit more about you know the best way to apply hair growth oils you probably have heard me say this a lot in my videos you know about scalp massages so that's what we'll be doing here um, basically I'm just working on my hair in sections I usually do work on my hair in sections anyway so you've been following me from the beginning uh, just because I find that it's easier for me to handle that way um, so I'm just gently finger detangling here guys and then once that's done I'm now using my hibiscus and aloe vera leave-in conditioner it's like a high growth kind of spray um, I'm sure you've seen this on my channel I'll link it somewhere up here for you guys if you haven't seen it um, so yeah I usually make a lot of these and then I just freeze it and next time that I want to do my hair, I don't waste time having to make it again. I just defrost it and then use it. So that's basically what's happened here. So I'm just um, spraying that to my hair, you know, uh, including my scalp, my ends, basically the entirety of my hair. And I'm also just making sure that, you know, pretty much all of my hair is covered, massaging that in nicely. And then I'm going to now go in with the oil just to seal the moisture in my hair. Now also focus on your scalp guys because that's basically where our hair grows from and you know you're trying to nourish your follicle because that's the whole point of this um, actually. Um, and also apply it to the ends of your hair just to keep it you know from being dry and breaking. And yeah so after I did that I actually went ahead and just twisted that section again I did not detangle my hair like proper properly detangled this time because I felt like I it just it just it was fine like it wasn't tangled at all because I had detangled my hair maybe like a week ago um so yeah I just didn't think it was necessary to use a comb so I just went ahead and twisted it like that and then I'm gonna repeat it for the entirety of my hair um pretty much now I suggest that you use this oil guys perhaps once a week you know and also remember to always massage your scalp with it anytime that you're using it just to stimulate that blood circulation and and also help you know with hair growth now this is not the only way that you can use this oil you can use it as a hot oil treatment so basically applying it to your scalp and hair massaging that in nicely and then putting a shower cap on and then leave it for a little bit and then go ahead and shampoo your hair as you would normally do or you can just use it as a regular hair growth treatment without necessarily using any conditioner with it so you can just massage that to your scalp 
even if your hair is dry you know you can just massage that in or to the area that perhaps you're trying to grow and just and just let it be you know the thing about hair growth treatments or not even hair growth treatments the thing about our hair in general you know to, for you to be able to see results you need to be consistent with what you're doing so it's just like the same way that perhaps if you're trying to lose weight you know you're gonna eat cons uh, eat right consistently and uh, exercise consistently to be able to see results or perhaps if you're I don't know running a business or you know there are certain things that you're gonna have to do consistently so you can still see the same kind of results or get the same people coming back so that's the same way that you know we care for our hair um, so if you are to sort of see any type of results when it comes to using products or using high growth remedies or anything like that just be consistent with it guys and I promise you you will definitely notice a difference I get these questions all the time how long does it take for me to see results like it just depends on you know how consistent you are and also how quickly your hair grows so it varies for everyone but what I would say just do you you know just be consistent with what you're doing and be patient and you will definitely see the results coming through so I did not record me doing my entire head here guys because as you would imagine this video would be really really long um so I'm gonna basically just do a few of my braids not braids sorry of my twists and then I'm gonna call it a day but I went ahead off camera and pretty much applied this throughout my entire hair um and I just left it in so I just used it as a like, like like I said earlier as a sealant and also as a kind of hair growth um, oil so I did not rinse this off but you can rinse it off as well if you want to so yeah this is pretty much it for me today guys thank you so much if you made it till the end of the video I really 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 appreciate it and also click the thumbs up button guys if you like the video it really helps YouTube push my videos forward so you can reach more people and also share it with someone that you know could benefit from my content subscribe if you're not already and also leave me a comment guys I usually read all my comments you know I may not always answer them at the time that you left it or read them at the time that you left it but I usually do get around to it so this is pretty much it for me today guys thanks for watching bye